Hello there and welcome to my channel. My name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen video. Today I'm going to look at the unboxing and contents of a fountain pen care package I received from a generous viewer. Joel Terrell sent me a box full of goodies, which included five fully wen fountain pens. I thought he was sending me pens on loan for me to review and return. He told me he wanted to keep my channel alive with fountain pens to review, considering the current slowdown in shipments from China. But after opening the box, I discovered he's giving me these pens to review and to keep or to give away as I saw fit. Thank you, Joel, for your enormous generosity and support. I've decided to review each of these pens, one each couple of weeks, and do a giveaway as part of the video review. Pay it forward, as it were. Today I want to show you the unboxing I did almost a month ago and highlight each of the five fully wen pens. So let's take a look at that Christmas in March unboxing right now. Well, this is just a wonderful surprise here. This is a large package from my friend Joel, Joel Terrell, who has sent me a number of fountain pens. I don't know exactly what, but he sent them to me on loan to review. So he's charged my channel for uh, for more content to come. So thank you, Joel. Even before I open this package, let's open it up and see what. It's like Christmas. Christmas in March. Let's see what he has sent. Just to let you know, I've gone through all the protocols. I opened all of this with gloves on and I disinfected the box and everything even before I opened it. So I'm following proper protocols. Beautiful packaging. My goodness, there's all kinds of things in here. This is like a care package just to a soldier on the front. Purchased at the end of September, received November 20th. Wow, look at this. Oh my goodness, and they're all marked. Fully Wen Orange from Bobby Pens. This pen has a fantastic translucent orange acrylic for the body as well as the section. The cap is very shiny chrome and heavy with a unique clip design. It has a very tiny fine nib and would be suited to small hands, I think. It comes with a converter and it's available on Bobby's Etsy store Chinese pen for $12.50 US. Wow, look at this. I've seen this pen. Very, very interesting. I'm gonna lay these things out like someone rationing their meals. It reminds me of uh, The Martian where he's laying out all of the resources he has. I'm, uh, I'm gonna dip this potato in some crushed Vicodin. Fuller Wen, 2003-7. I've seen this pen as well. Again, another one from Bobby Pens. Yes, I've seen... Oh, look at that resin. This 2037 has a fantastic pearlescent swirling acrylic resin. I couldn't find this exact pen in this color resin, either on eBay or Etsy. But there is a green version on Bobby's Etsy for $13.98 US. Other colors are available and are called the same model number, 2037, but have a different and very funky grip section. 
The clip on this pen is very interesting with the small fake pearl at the tip and the flared flat top shape is very attractive. It has a number five nib and takes standard cartridges, but a converter is included. I have seen uh, Chris Rapp's review of this pen and uh, had it in my cart a few times. interesting section that's a little condensation because the package is still a little bit cold from being in my mailbox full of N world mape 1260 from Bobby look at that that's very interesting I thought Joel might have spelled map incorrectly as mape but as you can see from Bobby's eBay listing for this pen, he spells it M-A-P-E. I'm sure that's just a typo. This is the heaviest of the five pens, weighing in at 41 grams. But it is a good-looking, interesting pen in shiny black and chrome. It has a sword-style clip with two small embedded diamond crystals in the tip. It has a number six size medium nib, and the blind cap unscrews so you can access the end of the converter without removing the barrel. A very cool feature. It's a world map. Ooh, a nice size. Number six, full of one nib on that. Interesting section. Interesting, it's a snap cap, but it's got threads on it. And this one has a blind cap on it to run the converter from the outside that's a nice little feature and the box just keeps on giving aha <laughs> thank you Joel <laughs> this is a nice surprise that's nice I just sent the other Orienta he he gave me off to one of my viewers um, it was I've done a review on this and I'll put a link to that review here but uh, this is another one of those pens from the 1950s from Germany called an Orienta. Yeah, it's never been inked before. And it has that wonderful folded nib, which is really springy. And uh, one of my viewers was so enamored of that pen. He said, boy, I, you know, I'll buy that pen from you. But I thought, he is a school teacher in Florida. And I sent it off to him. And he'll be pleased to see this, that Joel has just sent me another one. That's terrific. Very pleased about that. <laughs> and there's another. <laughs> and another. <laughs> and they just keep coming out. They come rolling out like oranges. Imagine bumping into a load of cops. They come rolling out like oranges. What did you do with that? <laughs> Thank you, Joel. <laughs> Look at that. Ah, I know this pen. I had one of these. It's a fully one, I believe. I had one of these in my cart for the longest time and never pulled the trigger on it. The 826 is available in three colors. This orange, red, and a black with gray swirls. I had a couple of these pens in my cart ready to pull the trigger when Joel sent this one. It looks like it might be lighter than it is, and therefore it's really surprisingly heavy with big chunks of metal on the barrel, the section, and the cap. The orange translucent acrylic is very nice, and this orange resin is identical to the first pen. It has a really cool mirror ball-like band at the top of the barrel, which is great for those of you who love blingy. I'd rather be shiny like a treasure from a sunken pirate wreck. The pen posts very nicely, and the balance and the grip section are very comfortable. The pen is available from Bobby's Etsy store for $11.50 US. But uh, that little band that is like a mirror ball really fascinated me. And then we have, yes, I know this pen too. This is the Fully Wen 815 Retro with a fascinating tubular style nib. 
This pen is one of the pens on Bobby's Etsy store banner and has caught my eye a few times. I'm fascinated by the unique tubular nib and the combination of a cracked ice style acrylic resin and brushed aluminum. It's an interesting design choice and one that I'm still on the fence about. I can't explain it other than to say it feels like mixing checks and stripes or putting ice in milk. It just feels wrong to my aesthetic. It was also available in a bronze finish, but that seems to be out of stock. And it's available on Bobby's Etsy store for $8.50. And it posts with a click. An interesting clip, which is on a spring, just like that. That's fascinating. Wow, I'm overwhelmed here. Visconti, carta, or oh, blotting paper from Visconti. Isn't that nice? I was just thinking about looking at some blotting paper from uh, my pen store. And in the bottom of the box, we have a Schaefer pad of paper, notepad, a couple of Schaefer notepads. Very nice. Well, that gives me a lot to do, and you will be seeing all of this stuff in future videos. I have to thank Joel so much for being my champion on my channel and uh, keeping me going with uh, new videos and I'm again overwhelmed with your generosity and hopefully you will look forward to many videos out of this wonderful care package that you've sent me. So while you watch me posting some measurements of these pens I'll explain what I'm going to do with them over the coming weeks. Every other Wednesday I will post a YouTube review of one of these pens. In that video, I will embed, along with the usual silliness, cutaways of various movies and television shows. To be entered into the giveaway to win the pen in the video, you must be a subscriber and post a comment telling me the title of the movie or the television show of each of the cutaway references in the video. You will have one week from the posting of the video, and I post at 5 a.m. PST, to enter your comment. I will then make a random selection of a subscriber's comment and if the comment has the correct titles, I will post the winner in a notice. If you won the pen, you just need to contact me by email with your name and address, and I'll send you the pen free of charge. My email address is in the description of every video and in the About section of my channel. And that just leaves it for me to say, thank you very much for watching, and that's all she wrote.